All right, let's get into the first topic, and that is this mystery surge. So if you're able to see the screen, um, whether you're listening or not, uh, if you can take a look at the screen, basically you see the surge map for Uber, but it doesn't show you any of the flat rate surges. It doesn't show you the multiplier surge if you're lucky enough to get the glitch. Um, it just shows the little surge icon with nothing there. So we talked about this originally when it came in central and western Florida. Uh, and it seemed like it was kind of just confined to there, but now more places are getting it, like Cleveland, Ohio, and a couple other places. So, um, yeah, you can see if you're watching, if you're looking, uh, you'll be able to see that. So, Sergio, it looks like you had a little bit of a issue there too, huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's this is like you know, you know, you blame me for to give you the virus through the internet. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I got Uber's you. giving the virus all over the place too. <laughs> yeah, so this is the same thing, right? So this virus is spreading now. First, it was West Coast of Florida, then Florida. Then it showed up in L.A. Now it's in Cleveland, Ohio. Then it went to Jersey. So I'm talking like this thing is spreading now. You know, on last time we talked about this, we put up the support chat. They're saying that, yeah, we know about it. We're working on it. It's a glitch. Now, mm -hmm. Uber, I know Harry's here, you know, so you must be watching because Harry is here today. So this is not a glitch. A glitch is fixed by 33,000 coders in probably a day or two max. This seems like it's taking over your system and it's spreading like a wildfire, even to my backyard. I don't like it. I don't want it. If I, I mean, not that, not, not that the surge is anything meaningful these days, Chris, because it's all, yeah. you know, it's all like, included in the fair now i'm like high surge low fair low fair high surge it's like bs but this is the next level of hocus pocus <laughs> not only we're gonna surge bait you right because when you turn the app on if i'm under 10 i'm gonna get four this is the next level of hocus pocus which is we don't even know now <laughs> now we're not gonna even know if we got surge baited or not right and, and here goes, Uber says, the heat map highlights surge areas. Yeah, we know that. More intense color indicates higher levels of surge. No shit. And you'll know it's a surge fair. There is a surge icon, but it doesn't talk about the dollar sign at all now. Now, is this the new yeah. thing, Chris? You think this is the new thing? This is what Well, you know, here's the thing. If they have that note in there saying that, where it says, you know, it's a surge fair when there's a surge icon on your trip request, that plus that whole thing right there just leads me to show that is by design. That is yep. nothing but design written on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and then my yeah, and, and then my my in-app email, right? Say so, Sergio, okay, Uber. Um, a technical issue may have prevented you from seeing the driver surge heat map yesterday. Okay. And this <laughs> this issue is fixed, and you can now continue to uh, check the driver surge heat map for areas of high demand. Well, sir, it's not happening. So so when I, you know, put out three, four different states, um, we we need to, you know, whoever else has this, by the way, in the country, please send me the screenshots like these people did. Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. We don't want this, seriously. Now, I, I get, you know, upfront fares is bad enough. We did definitely do not want this. I mean, this is the next level of lack of transparency. As if they were transparent enough, this is the next level. And I don't want this. This is bullshit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I am disappointed that 33,000 coders at Uber couldn't fix this. Not only they couldn't fix it, but they're spreading now to different states and different cities. When that happens, <clears throat> look, I've been with Uber for seven years, since 2015, late 2015, almost eight years now. You know, in Uberland, there are no glitches. There are intentional glitches. And sometimes, once in a while, there are truly glitches. But this does not look like uh, something that is not intentional. This looks pretty intentional to me. Yep, and driving in the dark was what we fought against all years, not knowing destination and all that stuff. Now it, it's like driving in the dark when it, you know, when it comes to surge. So I, I think you but guys. Sergio, what does it what does it matter anymore? Because you see the price up That's front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But That's here's true. the no here's. Here's the thing. Honestly, it does matter because you know, the biggest thing is is not that it, it surge isn't there or isn't being shown. The biggest thing is that it's being tied into the base rates. So base rates are adjusting 
based on the surge that's attached to that particular ride. That to me, I think is the bigger issue here. Um, yeah. Both of them are huge issues nonetheless, and I don't want yeah. to discredit one over the other, but yeah. this is something that really needs to be called out a hundred percent. And again, if you have some little thing, a little blurb that pops up, that's a surge pricing in effect, and it tells you this thing that does that just to me screams, this is something that they're testing out and is intentional. And yeah. then the question is, are they testing it out to see what drivers will say and then say, oh, it's a glitch. And then they go back, but they still keep it in there and then they roll it out down the road or what's going on here. So that's what I'm curious about. Yeah, well, that that plus, um, you know, think about, you know, all these search chips that you're doing, right? OK, we know for a fact this is this is not mystery that when Uber is charging the passenger, they charge it with the old multiplier system, okay? Yep. They charge them 2X, 2.5X, 3X on the trip. In turn, they turn around and give you a flat flat rate surge or penny surge, I used to call it, which is what it is, right? So it's a dollar surge. So when you charge somebody with a multiplier and pay with a dollar surge, now you take away the transparency of what kind of dollars we're talking about here. This is bogus. This is, this is unacceptable. I mean, yep. you know, to me, Please send me this more screenshots. You know, maybe we'll just package it, give it to Harry to send it to his buddies at Uber. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we can fix it. Maybe. Right there, so, yeah. But here's the other side of the coin. Like I said, the trees speak to each other. And uh, there's this great Netflix documentary that came out, I believe, in 2019 or something. It's like Magical Fungi or something like that. Uh, yeah. Don't quote me. I don't remember the name of it. Or Fantastic Fungi. Uh, but yeah, they talk about the mycelium. And that's basically like the little roots that kind of connect all the trees and plants together. So, yeah, beyond that, there could be a little bit of mycelium going from Uber to Lyft, because if you look at this screenshot, this is showing pretty much the exact same thing. Where's where, You're in a $7.50 bonus zone, but I don't see anything around there, do you? I don't see, a red, I don't see the purple pink cloud there either. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm going to let Lyft slide easier than Uber because Uber's is spreading now. Now, next week, if people send me the same thing, do you notice, by the way? Cleveland, Ohio is this is the same, right? I mean, same city. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, you see that? So I'm going like, um, you know, I didn't. I you really, I honestly didn't even want to put it in there because we're trying to build a bridge with Lyft that we burn like many, many times. <laughs> well, so, they get called out. <laughs> but when I saw Cleveland and Cleveland, I go like, mm, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's it's I don't know, but yeah, if you're seeing this issue or anything. Uh, hit up Sergio, Sergio at therideshareguide.com. We can see more. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.